At six, the Bank of England raises interest rates to their highest level for more than 14 years. As interest rates are hiked to 4% to try to bring down inflation, the bank's governor says it's beginning to work. So could the worst be over? I very much hope so, but we've only just begun to turn the corner in my view, so it's too early to make that call with any, I'm afraid, degree of certainty, but I hope so. We'll be looking at what it means for mortgages, loans and savings, also on the programme. The 1998 Omer bombing killed 29 people. Now the government announces an independent inquiry after years of campaigning by some relatives. Seven days after she vanished, the search continues for the missing mother, Nicola Bully. Her family make an emotional appeal to the public to help find her. And a warning that mammals such as foxes and otters are contracting avian flu after eating dead birds. Part of Scotland, known as the Flow Country, is aiming to become a World Heritage Site, along with the likes of the Acropolis in Greece and the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. The area of Caithness and Sutherland is roughly 50 miles across and covers a total of almost a million acres of land in the Scottish Highlands. Described as the Flow Country, it contains the most intact and extensive blanket bog system in the world. The peatlands, which have been growing for 10,000 years, are formed by layers of waterlogged mosses and other vegetation as they die off. A decision by UNESCO on the Flow Country's nomination is expected next year. Police are searching for two men who attempted to kidnap two young boys in Basingstoke yesterday evening. The boys, aged 12 and 13, were approached by the men in a black Volkswagen and offered money to get in the car. Hampshire police say the boys ran to a nearest nearby supermarket and the men drove off. Charges of attempted rape and assault against Manchester United's Mason Greenwood have been dropped. The Crown Prosecution Service said there was no longer a realistic prospect of conviction. And a driver who rammed a police officer off his motorbike has been jailed for four years. 24-year-old Joseph Ward left the officer with leg, back and shoulder injuries after the incident in North London last year. A man who seriously injured a police motorcyclist when he rammed his car into him to avoid being arrested has been jailed. Joseph Ward's actions led to Inspector Tony McGovern suffering several injuries during the incident in Haringey last July. Ward was jailed for four years. On BBC London. You do have lots of individuals. Under fire over the expansion of the ultra-low emission zone, the mayor is criticised over his plans from a driver and questioned by money-saving expert Martin Lewis. The timing is pretty tough to do it this year amidst the cost of living crisis. Well, Sadiq Khan says the expansion will save lives. Also on the programme tonight. Making our streets safer for women. How a London borough is trying to do more by targeting street harassment. It's low tide here on the Thames and we're talking mudlarking and we're finding out all about an exciting find, a remnant of Roman London. And why not cheer yourself up with these? Orchids are back in bloom at Kew. We get a preview of what's on show. Business leaders and the Mayor of London have called on the Chancellor to reinstate duty-free shopping for overseas visitors. The heads of Selfridges, Harrods and Heathrow are among those saying that retail in the capital has been disadvantaged by the end of the perk. A Treasury spokesperson said the Chancellor was prioritising being responsible with public service finances. An injunction banning car cruise events in Stevenage where 17 spectators were injured in a collision has been extended for five more years. Stevenage Borough Council was granted the injunction in 2019 after the crash on Monkswood Way. A bid to make the ban permanent wasn't successful. The high-speed rail line HS2 has been dogged by controversy for years now, but there's some good news for those backing the project excavation of two of the longest tunnels on the route has reached the halfway point.